Well, Musti, thank you very much for joining us here in Tehran. We know that this has been a long time coming for you getting to this Socceroos camp. So now that you're finally here, how rewarding is it for you to be here? Yeah, it's very rewarding. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very excited and it's been, it's been a long time, but I'm very happy to be here, so it's good. A lot of Australian audiences would have last known of you, of course, from your time with the Mariners, which seems a lifetime ago now. How much do you think you've improved as a footballer due to your time in Germany and now in Denmark? Yeah, of course, you know, when I was 18, I moved to Dortmund and had a very good experience there, three years there, and you know, I enjoyed my time, and then it was time for me to start playing first team football, and of course, I moved to Denmark, so it's been a, a long journey for me, and you know, at the end of the day, it was all for for this Socceroos as well and, you know, to make my nation proud. And how much are you looking forward to playing with and mixing it up with the likes of Aaron Moy, Masluongo, Mila Yedinak, you know, Mark Milligan, some guys who've got a lot of Socceroos caps under their belts now and who are proven performers on the international stage? Yeah, it's actually going to be amazing, you know, just training with those guys. It's, I actually went to school with Aaron Moy, you know, and played with him in Dolly Roo, so it's nice to be back with him and you know I know a lot of the boys from Central Coast Mariners days and you know the Oli Roos and stuff so it's always nice to see old faces but you know it's a new step in my career and I'm happy to be here so I hope I can prove Andrew and the nation. And now as it stands you're five games away potentially uh, from being a part of a team that qualifies for the World Cup, I mean, has that sunk into you yet that all things being equal and all things going well, you could be a World Cup player in five games time? Yeah, of course, but at the end of the day with Ange, you know, everyone has to be on their toes. No one knows who's in the squad or whatever, you know, so it's always about playing and playing well and then that suits itself sort of thing, you know, so I'm just looking forward and enjoying this camp and being happy to be here and of course, once we hopefully get the six points out of the next two games, I can go back home to Denmark and start playing even more and doing well and then hopefully get in the next squad.